and try to lose weight to I don't eat rice. Nya, nya, nya. Who told you you can't eat rice? Here are three rice recipes that I eat and I'm still in shape and healthy. My family people, Unawe Kobo, welcome back to my channel. For my old family members, thank you so much. And for my new family members, you're welcome. Rice is a type of food that people, especially those trying to lose weight, frown upon. And it is because of, you know, it's starchy, it's high in carbs and the likes. But this is how I eat rice and I still stay in shape and I stay healthy. Let's go to the kitchen. This particular recipe, majority of us are familiar with it, and that is the fried rice. The main reason why I like this recipe is because of the vegetables in it. So first off, we'll add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and the next we are going to add is our onions. We'll add the carrots and the onions at the same time, so that the carrots will cook faster. While the carrot is cooking, we'll add half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of curry powder, one over four teaspoon of thyme, and then we'll mix till it's well combined. Next up, I'll add in some peppers, and I'm going to add in chopped bell peppers. I'll mix this well till it's well combined. I'm going to add in little seasoning, after which we are going to pour in our rice. The whole essence is to have more vegetables in the rice. While that is done, we'll add in our cabbage. And I'll drizzle in a little bit of walnut oil. This is totally optional. It is high in omega-3, and I just like adding it at the end of my dish. So of all the rice recipes, this is the most preferred, and I will call it Shafamaka Special Vegetable Rice. So I'll put in a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Next thing, flavor with onions. Now I'll put in some carrots. Next, I'll add a teaspoon of chili flakes. After which, I'm going to add in some cabbages, let us say roughly two cups. Set this to combine. Add the seasoning in. Stir again. The cabbage was cut roughly. You don't need any serere. Next, We'll add in our rice. I like this recipe because I can eat this with stew. I can eat this even with pepper soup. It goes so well with any and everything. I'm adding in ugu. I just love this particular recipe. Just look at how beautiful it looks. I'll add in Another teaspoon of chili flakes. I like the heat. Tiny bit of salt. Keep stirring. I'm going to drizzle in 
just a little of extra virgin olive oil and this is ready. The beautiful thing, it's affordable to make. This rice recipe is what I call tomato rice. Very simple and easy. First off, drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Then you put in some onions and some basil, also known as curry leaf. You stir this well. After which we are going to add in our chopped tomatoes and we are going to add in our diced peppers. We are going to allow this to cook properly for five to 10 minutes. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of seasoning and just allow this cook further. Next, we are going to add in rice. We drizzle in a little bit of walnut oil. You can use any oil, but I like walnut oil. Mix this well. Oh, just look at. I'll put in carrots and just small cabbage, roughly chopped cabbage. Put in some pepper for heat. Little bit of salt. That is it. I didn't add any form of spice to this recipe because I want tomato to be the king in this dish. And then we add vegetables because we need that vegetable in the dish. You can eat this alone with salad. Goes perfectly well. There you have it. My three rice recipes that has helped me thus far in my weight loss journey. You pair this with your salads and your proteins and you are good to go. So you can see that you don't need to cut out your favorite thing because you want to lose weight. And if you want to get more of this, stay tuned to this channel because I'll be sharing so many tips and food recipes that will help you keep in shape and stay healthy. So like, share and subscribe to this channel because more are coming soon. See you.